Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a scenario where Nazi Germany at its peak goes to war against the Soviet Union, the, the, the Russian Empire plus Alaska. I am. Was Mongolia part of the Russian Empire? I think. No. Alright, so you, if you're wondering what this sign is, this is also the border with the German Empire, with the, with the German Reich, when they, you know, when they were invaded, so it's so big. So they were like really close to Moscow. This is a very bad border. So yeah, this stuff is going to count as territory being liberated and not taken. Except for of course, man. Except for of course, Finland. Finland still counts as territory being taken, you know. That, and also, they never took this. So, never took Saint Petersburg. So yeah, we have fighting beginning. Oh wait, I forgot. I, I gotta put the capitals. The capital of the capital of Germany. This time was of course basically the its entire history was Berlin. But the Russian Empire capital is actually St. Petersburg. Yes, look that up. Yeah, actually look that up. Russian Empire's capital is actually St. Petersburg. So yeah, we have um not the Soviet capital. Soviet capital was always Moscow. But we have Germans pushing to Poland as this is just very short, it's just a short squat, just like squished stuff. And yeah, this Polish part is slowly taking over, but it's not really integrated to Germany. And we have the taking of Poland being done. The Battle of Vilnius is a major battle for Germany. As the Russians can't really hold on to all this. And we're actually going to be using historical military capacities. So, yeah, the Germans are going to be, are going to do really, really well here. So well, in fact, that they almost managed that they are now right next to the capital and have begun to prepare to actually seize territory not to these liberating things you have the Russian Empire pushing back the German attack even taking Crimea it's surprising a fast battle but eventually the Germans break through yet again and they begin to go into their original border except for here where they fail near Moscow. They have the Baltic states being seized and St. Petersburg being endangered. Turns out they didn't actually want to say yet. They just wanted to, to endanger them. Make them all retreat. Make them retreat troops to the center to the north and also here. Here to just the north and from here to the north. Just want troops to go to the north. And it succeeded, and they even managed to encircle it, make an encirclement of Russian soldiers. So we have their first push troops beginning, and they get right next to St. Petersburg, but they fail at the last moment. Actually, these pockets are taken out, taken down. And the Russian Empire begins to collapse yet again, but it's still sta it's still standing. Troops begin to retreat. Some troops try to retreat back to the south, but yeah, the Caucasian region is quickly seized before this because there's not much manpower here. That's a lot of oil. That's that's a lot of oil. But Moscow is still very far. Pull. The Germans push into the Cold Peninsula, taking it all, eventually, eventually taking the entire thing. And they push in Finland to 
two front attack with Finn and you guys should take out the entire thing. And yeah, liberating take the taking over St. Petersburg begins. But it is a slow bat. But the battle is inconclusive. We have the Germans crossing and nearing Moscow. But eventually they get stuck in a standstill. But they manage to capture St. Petersburg in the second battle of St. Petersburg. So, what does the Russian Empire do? They change their capital to Moscow. But then, they do something very that nobody was expecting. They make a major pushback in the south, forcing a German retreat to begin. But they still manage to keep St. Petersburg in, in firm German hands. In fact, so it's so bad that, so, that the Russians actually managed to cross into Norway. Yeah, they cross into, into German Norway. That's how bad it actually is. Eventually, the Russian Empire begins to kind of dissolve the attack. They even take Estonia back and parts of Latvia, and they destroy the German front. Yeah, they destroy the German front. They even take back... They even take back this and this. So now it's going horrible for Germany. Germany is further pushed back until they retreat to the main border. The Soviet... The Russian Empire attempts this, attempts a small incursion into German territory, into East Prussia. Prussia would fail. And Germany redoes the, their initial attack. This time going at a full momentum. The, the, Soviet, the Russians retreat to this border and take and just stop. Wait. The Germans take stuff over. Quickly, the third battle of St. Petersburg is a very, the fourth battle of St. Petersburg actually, is quite a fast one. It's actually quite fast. The Soviet, the, the Russian invasion of Norway is stopped and countered. And full on countered. The Russian Empire eventually surrenders to Germany, leading to a German victory. The Germans take this stuff as a peace treaty. They take this. The first part of the peace treaty says let's take this territory in Finland. So they do that, including St. Petersburg. Which is pretty bad. This is that was the pre-wartime capital, so that sucks. But then they're bullied even further. They lose their entire Caucasus region, which is most of its oil, and they lose for territories here in the north. But it's not much of a big deal. So, yeah. When I start doing a film, it's like seeing the future of the scenario. The future. What happens after this? But yeah, not this episode. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Next episode, I'm not going to show you. I don't want give, to give some spoilers. Give spoilers. I hate doing so. But yeah, here's our new, uh. Sus. Sus. I'm pretty sus. I'm it's the new the new thing yeah i hope you enjoyed watching this video